Hello and welcome to Retro FM. It's the 25th of June 2004. We're 4,542 days in the past and we have planned to go on an epic football manager adventure. Yes, indeed. And we're going to play every single football manager back to back, starting with Football Manager 2005 onto Football Manager 2017 and beyond. So yes, we are ambitious with this, but we're also Jack and Dave. I'm Jack, and I'm an Arsenal fan. And I'm Dave, I'm a Birmingham fan. So even though Arsenal and Birmingham may not seem like one of the most intense rivalries going on at the moment in football, Dave and mine is one of those most intense rivalries going on in football at the moment, and we've decided to encapsulate this in the beautiful game of Football Manager. So starting in Football Manager 2005, and going on for the next 12 Football Managers, we will find out who is the best football manager once and for all. So how are we going to find out who is actually the best football manager of all time? Well, we've drawn up a rigorous uh, scoring system to find this out, as you should see on your screen now. The scoring system may seem a bit complicated, but you'll get used to it over the next 12 seasons. So at the end of each season, the manager with the most points wins that season. And it goes on from there. Uh, the manager with the most points at the end of the whole series is clearly the best football manager of all time. Jose Mourinho, eat your heart out. And who, who's even heard of Sir Alex Ferguson? So we will be playing one season of each game, continuing from one to the next. So when we start with Football Manager 2005, we'll do a season of that and go straight into Football Manager 2006, playing as the team that finished in the same position as we did in real life. So, if we finish top of the league in 2005, we will play the next game as Chelsea, who finished in first place in the real 2004-2005 season. It's a very simple premise, and one that you'll get used to as we progress through the seasons. So to get an idea of Football Manager 2005, we have decided to think back to what it was like in June 2004, a time before Lionel Messi, a time really before Cristiano Ronaldo. What was it like back then? A time before Brexit, even, if, you could, if one can cast their mind back before then. So Football Manager was obviously still in its infancy at this stage, but it was a game that was still way ahead of the rest and still got great reviews from anybody who bought it. The game featured such things as training regimes where you could uh, get your players to do picky in the middle. It had really brief press conferences where someone would ask you a question and you could pick from tens of different answers. And it had a course, a match engine, which was in 2D. 2D, not wow. the normal 1D. Oh, <laughs> these, these are the days after One Dimensional. Um, <laughs> and before just, One Direction. Long... Well, yeah. <laughs> Those were the days. So our videos are going to be coming out on a bi-weekly uh, basis, hopefully. And we will be starting off Football Manager 2005 with me uh, managing the mighty Norwich City. And I will be managing the rather wonderful Crystal Palace. <laughs> we hope not to get them relegated. And of course, there are contingency plans if we do get relegated. We will start off with the promoter teams from the next season as well. So sit back and enjoy our Football Manager series. Basically, we're two guys that aren't really good at Football Manager, trying to pretend that we are good at Football Manager. And also, just why not? We're putting it on YouTube at the same time. Effectively, this is us doing something we would have done otherwise. But hey, now you get to watch it and waste your life too. Way. So Yay. why not press next video and go to episode one of FM Retro.